Like other Cayenne, the e-hybrid's interior is five-passenger cozy rather than extravagant or expansive. The number of buttons on the dash and center console seems to be coming down, and the interior material quality seems to be going up, to the point that the leather stitching is right up there with Hermes Caval jumping saddles. The EPA rates the Kylan SE Hybrid at 46 engine combined driving while depleting the battery charge and using the electric motor. As a more conventional hybrid, the Porsche is rated at 22 miles per gallon combined. That won't rattle the world view of many Tesla owners, but it's substantially better than other Kylan models. The Platinum Edition has some distinct visual touches and gathers together many items that would otherwise be desirable on their own. There are real arch extensions, the headlamps are Bixen on units, and the Bose sound system is powerful. Also thrown in are fantastically comfortable heated sport seats, special wheels, and door sill guards with illuminated Kyle and S logos. The prices of Porsche options are legendarily lofty, and the bundle of them that comes with the Platinum Edition seems a bargain at only $2,900 more than the regular e-hybrid. It's all stuff most buyers are likely to want anyhow. As we noted earlier, the non-platinum model we tested in 2015 Warren has tested price $9,815 higher thanks to a far more liberal approach to the options. At this point the Kylan is entrenched in the Porsche lineup, and the debate about its standing as a true Porsche is wholly academic. This is the machine that makes Porsche profitable. This is what a modern Porsche looks like and is. The e-hybrid stands as a reflection of Porsche's past stretching to Herr Doctor's 1899 loaner Porsche hybrid and as a direct connection to modern Porsche hybrids like the road-bound 918 Supercar and the 919 Endurance Racer. That's something this electronically intensive, so heavy, and so not a sports car still feels like a Porsche is astonishing. It's the acid green brake calipers that announced to buy Sanders that this $86,995 Kylan is much more environmentally righteous than Porsche's other large, fuel slurping SUVs. It's not a brash announcement as virtue signaling goes, but the bright green color contrasts vividly with the rest of the machine's more subdued hues. There's also a green shadow behind the lettering on the e-hybrid's badges that adds another halo of good intentions to the appearance. Damn phones, Babylon's came